For accurate weather forecast and live news, subscribe to our Scamit Weather YouTube channel. Press the bell icon and do not miss on any of our weather news. Welcome to SkyMet. Uh, this is the National Weather Bulletin. Uh, forecast for the next 24 hours commencing 18th of June morning. The highlights of this brief uh, will be the likely heavy rainfall, possibly heavy to very heavy rainfall over uh, some pockets of uh, Uttar Pradesh, particularly closer to the foothills, uh, central and western parts of uh, Uttar Pradesh and also along further the foothills of East Uttar Pradesh. There will be even widespread activity along the west coast starting with southern parts of Konkan and uh, coastal Karnataka region. So with this we commence this, uh, this brief. Firstly, the east and northeastern parts. Northeastern parts continue to have monsoon that is uh, moderate to uh, widespread activity. That's at most places, okay. This, so there will not be any change as such that will continue. There is no extreme heavy rainfall over that area, but then this is going to continue in the same way, the same pattern. Eastern parts covering uh, Bihar, Jharkhand, and West Bengal. We see there is a cyclonic circulation now. Uh, that's uh, that's over Gangetic West Bengal. If you remember earlier, the cyclonic circulation of that low pressure area, which uh, formed in the Bay of Bengal way back on 11th of June, meandering over the region, over Bihar, Jharkhand, East Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, and it has not gone anywhere else. Now, this circulation possibly also will organize and it will meander over that area before it uh, becomes uh, significant after about three days time. But presently, this circulation already given some heavy rainfall over uh, Gangetic West Bengal. Bankura had uh, received uh, 300 millimeter rainfall over two days, more than 300 rather. Even Kolkata also had its heaviest rainfall of this season and for that matter even for this year as such, 144 millimeter in 24 hours, which is a record rainfall for this year as such. More rainfall is there in the offing because this circulation is going to further organize. So eastern parts, monsoon is going to remain active to vigorous next few days. Actually, there will hardly be any, any break in between. The only thing is activity will be intermittent and then most of it possibly will be towards the later part of the day, that's the evening and night. But then entire eastern parts that's covering Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal, more so over West Bengal and that to sub-Himalayan West Bengal region, we can expect some heavy to very heavy rainfall in these 24 hours. Coming down uh, to uh, the, uh, the central parts now, the central parts as we say the activity has reduced as uh, to what it was earlier. Madhya Pradesh had uh, good heavy rainfall at few places that will reduce a bit and so will be even Chhattisgarh also and parts of Odisha. No extreme heavy rainfall expected as such but then moderate rains yes they, they will be there. Okay, Parts of Gujarat they remain silent. But then as we see that there is a cyclonic circulation uh, over parts of South Gujarat and adjoining region. So this will drive some light rains over coastal parts, especially the coastal parts of Saurashtra, including Mauva, Virabal, and then along uh, Diu, Somnath, etc. But no heavy rainfall as expected. Monsoon line is not expected to move much over this region also. Northern parts of the country, as we know that the monsoon is stuck, the northern limit of the monsoon is stuck uh, at uh, Amritsar in uh, Punjab and uh, Ambala in uh, Haryana. So there is not going to be much of change in that. Uh, possibly the monsoon is going to linger on, linger on now. This activity will uh, take some time to catch up with and normal date of onset which is there over these parts only towards end of June or first few days of July may be around that time only we have otherwise not much of change because the westerly winds will continue over this area they will continue to sweep as long as these westerly winds are there there is no question of any onset of monsoon over these parts so possibly we have to wait possibly more than week or even 10 days for the monsoon to reach even Delhi area first and then proceed further over parts of Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan comes later. 
Light rain can't be ruled out during this period over these parts, but not a monsoon rain as such. Coming to southern parts, see the west coast is having good amount of rain. So as we know that Mumbai had a little break, but then again some good showers were there. Kolaba had more than 100 mm of rainfall in 24 hours. That was the first heaviest spell for Kolaba. Santa Cruz earlier had hat trick of uh, century rainfall that's on three days earlier but Kolaba was uh, not uh, having this activity but again Konkan region inclusive of Kolaba, Santa Cruz and all they have had good amount of rainfall and that has extended to southern parts of Konkan including Sindhudurg, uh, Ratnagiri and Mahableshwar also. Coastal co parts of Karnataka they are coming in for some good amount of activity including Karwar, Mangalore and uh, further down parts of Kerala, moderate rains. Isolated places could be having some heavy rains, but otherwise generally it's going to be moderate because of the offshore trough which is there. That's extending from Konkan, Karnataka and becoming feeble by the time it reaches uh, Kerala. Interiors of South India, which is includes uh, Rilesima, Tamil Nadu, even for that matter, interiors of Karnataka will not have much of uh, weather as such. It should be just about light around that time. That's the weather brief uh, from SkyMet. Keep watching for latest and uh, further information. Thank you for connecting. Keep your family healthy by downloading SkyMet AQI app and tracking air pollution of your location in real time.